Joining me now is founder accessing grants for startups tribe, Ife Durusimi Eti. Ife, good morning. Good morning. You've been following the, the, <laughs> the royal baby and uh, all of that issue since the past two days when the baby was born. I yes. know you're so happy yes, and I'm all very of that. No, but talk to us, to you and what you have seen so far, what is, so, what is very unique about this baby and the time it's born? I love the time that this baby is born, especially because it shines a lot of light on topics like diversity and inclusion. A lot of people don't really understand how, you know, the black race people have been stigmatized and all of that. So now, as a, because of this baby, you know, even the royal family that is so royal would actually ha look at things more differently. So it's ve I'm very, very excited that this baby is actually born and is born into this royal family. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, there's, there's this American touch to it yes. be, uh, due to uh, Meghan Markle and all of that. How much will this, how much change will this bring to the way that the royal family approach issues generally? This baby is a symbol of so many things. First, you guys have said it already, the baby is the first Afro American baby to be mm. born into the royal family. Biracial. It says, yeah, biracial. Mm. It's also a symbol of hope. It's a symbol of so many things. And I think the royal family would also be open to, to bringing people into, into the system. You know, the Meghan Markle's mom is black and you know, they took a very, very symbolic picture yesterday. Yeah. And that picture is going to go on for generations and generations to come. And people will be, see things more differently, if, especially the royal family. So I'm very excited about <laughs> you know, what is happening. <laughs> All right, now, uh, what do you think when it comes to you know, royal families and royal because Britain, although being a royal family, is not the only royal family in the world or the yeah. royals too. What, what, what do other royal, royals, royalty or royalty yeah. stand to learn from, from the British? Because this, this new approach generally, yeah. what do they stand to maybe imbibe from this? I think royal families and people you know, who are already high up there should understand or take a lesson from this that people can actually be whoever they want to be. Mm. People, uh, people can choose whatever decisions, they have whatever decisions that they need to make and they're going to be serious about those decisions, especially even the name that they chose. You know, people were expecting them to choose other names and they came and they chose, yeah, they Arthur. chose, they chose <laughs> something different. So they're trying to change the norm and they're challenging, you know, what is the norm, what has already been done for centuries and centuries. So yes, I think people should take this as something that they would use towards everything. But, you know, some of their life decisions, the things that they need to do going on, they just need to make sure that, you know, they're looking at things more differently okay. and just change status quo. All right. Ife Durusimieti, thank you so much for coming on the thank program. Thank you so much thank for having you. me. Right. Ife, good to have you here. Hi. While well, you pride yourself as uh, the newborn's auntie. <laughs> <laughs> and that's quite amusing. Yeah. So let's talk about the significance of uh, Archie's birth, the seventh in line to the British royal throne. How magnificent. It is actually an amazing time to be alive. I can't even believe that this kind of thing is happening in my history or in my generation. I'm so excited because this baby is a symbol of hope. The baby signifies diversity, it signifies, he signifies inclusion. And I know that it's going to bring a lot of you know, talk and a lot of advocacy to you know the world all right at the moment it's not uh, he's not been called his royal highness just mm -hmm. yet because of some rules and you know that uh, guide uh, the british royal family but then of course I in the coming days we'll get to know if he'll take up that or maybe his father's uh, lesser royal title the l dunbarton uh, okay uh, now let's talk about uh, the significance of all of this uh, some more uh, Meghan Markle is American yes. and she's even Afro-American yes. and of course her mother was uh, there all joyous with the great uh, grandparent mm -hmm. of uh, the newborn. What signal do you see this bringing to the African continent? I'm so excited about Meghan Markle, firstly because she's a woman and she's a woman who has been a feminist from a very, very young age since when she was 11. I remember the um, video I saw of her when she saw that um, Procter & Gamble had put up an ad, an ad for one of their new products and they said, you know, women were, you know, holding greasy pots and pans and she said, 
why does it have to be women? Why can't you say people? And she actually wrote them a letter and made sure that they got the letter. So I'm very, very excited that someone like that has now gotten into the royal family and she's going to be using her, her title, her history, her background, and she's bringing all that into play. And on top of that, she also, she's also American. So it's a good time to be alive. You know, people are going to be more included to decisions. You're going, the royal family is going to think about different things when they're coming up with decisions that can, you know, change generations. So I'm, I'm so excited about what's happening. All right. And the choice of name, despite predictions about the child being called Alexander, eventually it's Archie. Yes, I'm so excited that they actually shocked us. Like, you can't expect people to always follow the norm. People need to make their own decisions. You know, you don't always need to follow what tradition says, especially if it's not hurting anybody. What's the big deal in a name? I understand that there's tradition and all of that, but trust me, you can name your child anything you want to name your child as long as you know, you're happy with the name that you give that child. All right, so maybe a high five for you. Yeah. Archie's auntie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alessandro Simi founder of ADS Tribe. Many thanks for joining us at Thank this time. Thank you so much. I'm very excited to be here.